Hello everyone, it's the DCI agent here. But we're gonna be picking up right where we left off in Fire Emblem Warriors. Who hopes? Hopefully we can make up for our previous failure in this map. I swapped in Lysithia. Gonna have her here on standby. And we were doing pretty good last time, so... This should work. Hopefully. Because you've seen us already. I will go ahead to put a stop to Dimitri and Ray. I am counting on your support, Claude. Well, we've come this far. We're not about to stop now. Mm. I'm here. You can count on me. I've got you covered. Right. And then keep fucking now on hold. We'll deal with that one. Get to it. You know, we could make good use of this Philistian catapult. <laughs> Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, I won't slack off. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot. Got it. A nice distribution Time right to make here. a name for myself. Now is our chance. The host get up here. They cannot... The enemy forces are too great. But I can at least serve as a decoy for Her Majesty. Got all that going on too. Monica is in danger. Do not worry about me. You must attend to her. I vow to defend this location. Now, let us bring it down! Now we hit. Got a slide. Left. Anything for Lady Edelgard! Let's take him by storm! <laughs> Easy. You saved my life. Thank you, friends of Her Majesty. It's not over. I so desperately want to flee, but I can't very well do that with Her Majesty here. So that's the Empire's Minister of Religious Affairs. The southern church now. If he's in trouble, we should go help. Now, set it aflame as we planned. This opportunity will not escape us. Never been broken my special. They're burning their mind. That's a bold move, Dimitri. And then I can go from here. Ah uh, yes, the old set it on fire strategy. We should put that out before things get messy. I think we've got some combat engineers on standby. Maybe they can deal with all this fire stuff? The 
wall collapsed. Did someone intentionally do this? Our path is blocked. We need to find another route and catch up with Edelgard. Got me. All right, engineers, you're up. Don't let them start another fire. Out you go. Now is our chance. They cannot stop us. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. You got all the Trump who explain. Got it. Time to make a name for myself. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Not a problem. I've got this. There you are, Edelgard. Your life is mine! Edelgard is under attack! We must defend her! I'm... alive! I mean, of course I am! My death would be a crippling blow to the Empire. Whoops. Some enemies slipped out of the stronghold. Got Gonna it. prioritize those guys now. Time to make a name for myself. We gotta take them down before they do something. <laughs> Take it down! Now is our chance! With me! Angry. Let's try this. All right, time to get moving. Let's try this. I'll give you a hand. Stay out of my way. Actually, this is perfect. Now I can avenge the Margrave as well. You want me behind you? Stand down. Take a near Give him all you got, Hilda. You didn't even get it in grid. What are you doing? Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. 
Thank you. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Got it. Time to make a name for me. <laughs> 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 that. None of this would have happened if it weren't for you. Careful. Continue defending the Emperor. We did it! That should take care of all the enemy commanders around here. Guard this place with your life. It easy. No way through. There she is. Ignite the flames once more. They will know how deeply our rage burns. Uh, well, it seems the enemy attacked them. We won't be setting any more fires. Well, they were unlikely to fall for the same trick twice. Time for our next plan. Clear down there. I've got this. Now is our chance. We'll see how too. They cannot stop us. Got it. Time to make a name for myself. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. It's still closed off. Position pretty slick. Take a breather. Over. 
so. What is next? Pigs taking flight? I know that armor is heavy, but you need to pick up the pace. What I'm gonna do? To do to electric blue. Dimitri's most loyal retainer. I must be getting close then. As long as I stand, you will not lay a finger on his Majesty. I'll keep this meter and I'll keep charging. I cannot let it end. Regular attacks needs to do here. I see you're picking your tree. We should send our healers. Give them all you got, Hilda. Or not. Your debt. I need to do it pretty sturdy. No matter what. I won't give up. Eliminate Dimitri and force the kingdom troops to retreat. Now it is my turn. Rhea should be coming back soon, so I'll say. Going to be only back here. I will aid you. There's the only. Peter got a little push. <laughs> we have gained control of Garrick Monk's entrance. I'll take up position here and stop the enemy from invading. I cannot allow you to do this alone, Your Majesty. Please, permit me to fight alongside you. I've long awaited this day, Aelgard. Your tyranny ends here. This is not good. We can't let Edelgard die. We must seize this opportunity while the Kingdom Army is engaged. Quickly, capture the front gate of the monastery. Come here, Claude. Give him all you got, Hilda. Well, I guess you asked. Out you go. I 
should have known she wouldn't let this opportunity slip by. Get on over to Garrett Mach. Yeah, we got this. There is nothing I cannot do. Don't worry. None shall surpass me. She popped up out of nowhere. Is there another secret path we don't know about? <laughs> the Kingdom Cavalry and the Church are launching an attack on our stronghold. <laughs> no matter how many years pass, you people will always be little more than fools. Return the land you stole from us! This stronghold is worthy of my protection. Garrick Moth is certainly a strategic location, but is it truly essential to the kingdom? Perhaps. We control this land, and we'll be in a better position to ward off your invasion. Yes. <laughs> If it's my head you're after, you'll have to risk your own to take it. Stop Dimitri with everything you've got. Hold nothing back. Garrick is our church's most sacred site. We must reclaim it. You shall face the tribute for violating this sacred ground. This is our chance to take out the Archbishop. We must not let it pass us by. Only a little more. A little more, and Garrett Mock will be mine again. Get out of here, Rhea. It seems the opportunity has slipped through our fingers. But we shall return. The next time you will not be so fortunate. We managed to hold out, but Rhea got away. I got these guys away, though. Now is our chance. They cannot stop us. I've got this. Take a breather. Our chance. They cannot stop us. Here come. Around. 
Just like that, a full retreat? Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Oop, oh, here we go. The time has come for my revenge. Prepare yourself! The Ashen Demon. Oh, how convenient to pop this right here next to me. My now we must deal with an even more formidable foe. We're not winning this thing unless we take out the Ashen Demon. Here it comes! Take this! You're done! At last, the Ashen Demon has appeared. Now is our chance to settle the score. I'm on it. I won't lose this time. We're gonna need that power of yours to win. You got this. Strong. I've got a little something of my own. And this time, I know I can take you. You shall be punched for murdering the sire of my vessel. You very your vessel started it. Be gone! This place is not for you! The monster's losing control. Now's our chance to finish it. Finish him off. <sighs> You've finally done it. The Ashen Demon is no more. Mm-hmm. You don't sound too pleased with yourself. Yeah, I don't know. I know I should be. But now that it's over, I just feel kind of empty. What if all this was just some horrible mistake? What if there was another way we could have solved all this? What if indeed? Sorry, I shouldn't be dumping all this on you. There's nothing to apologize for. You're processing a lot right now. I'm not sure what it means to feel happy and empty and regretful all at the same time. But I think I'm going through it myself, too. Though, I wouldn't call it happy, per se. More like, free. Like, I finally finished a quest I thought would never end. The relief could practically move me to tears. I... Hey, are you crying? I'm... I'm not sure. But I do know this. I'm beyond grateful for everything you've done for me. I couldn't have asked for a better partner in destiny. Same here, friend. I'm not there yet. Pull my weight too. This 
will help me break new boundaries. This power will help me soar. Not gonna forget this. Thank you, Claude. I owe you a great debt. Yeah, we really saved your skin. Though I'm sure you would have preferred to have us in your debt instead. Must really chafe having the shoe on the other foot. And what is that supposed to mean? If all you plan to do is mock me, then perhaps I'll not honor the debt after all. Hey, it was just a joke. Just something Lawrence said. Nothing for your Imperial Majesty to worry about. <sighs> Jokes aside, you have a minute? Eager as I am to get back out there and chase down our enemies, we need to talk. If you insist, what is it? Right now, the Federation and the Empire are fighting together against the Kingdom. But honestly, I have no desire to see Fargus in ruins. I'm only after the Central Church. At this point, though, wouldn't you say the two are one and the same? I'm not so sure. When Dimitri decided to grant sanctuary to the Central Church, he really wasn't in any position to refuse. If he had, the chaos that ensued would have torn Fargus apart. But what if things are adding up differently now? It's clear the war will drag on so long as he continues to shelter them. Besides, the Federation's Eastern Church and the Empire's Southern Church are both operating independent of Rhea's influence. The Central Church must be looking like a pretty heavy burden to Dimitri right about now. And hey, it's not like the Kingdom wouldn't still have the Western Church. Perhaps, but the Archbishop has far more influence in Fargus than anywhere else. Even if Dimitri has changed his mind, I doubt those around him would be open to the idea. The fact remains that the Kingdom has yet to show any sign of severing ties with the Central Church. They stand beside them even now. This is just a theory. Well, actually, it's more like wild speculation. But what if the reason Dimitri tried to take Garrick Ma was because he wanted to distance himself from the church? By facilitating Rhea's return to Garrick Ma, he could be trying to set the stage to break away. That's an interesting theory. Do you have any evidence to support it? Not really. But that's the impression I got when I saw Dimitri on the battlefield. To be honest, it didn't even occur to me before now. You were so determined to take down Rhea in that battle, we never spared a thought for Dimitri's motivations. I see. Had it occurred to you sooner, you would have had quite the decision to make. About whether to leave me for dead, I mean. After all, if the Central Church was really leaving the Kingdom to return here, abandoning me would have been the expedient choice. Oh, come on, Edelgard. Sure, we've had our differences, but that doesn't mean I want you dead. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that, even if it is a lie. <laughs> you wound me. It's the honest truth, from the bottom of my heart. So you say. No matter. You should continue to do as you see fit. And I will do all I can to bring this war to an end. Sounds like a plan. Let's end this war. Right now, that's all that matters. I will pursue the Kingdom's army westward, conquer Aryan Road, and take control of Fargus. And I'll go north, after the Knights of Seros. I'll defeat Rhea and dissolve the Central Church. Let us hope the paths we walk continue side by side. And don't forget that you owe me for today, Edelgard. If our paths do collide, I'll expect to see that debt repaid. Golden Wildfire. Field of Beginnings. The Federation successfully aids the Imperial Army. 
and together they pursue the kingdom and church forces. However, Claude's sole aim is to eliminate Archbishop Rhea. While Edelgard contends with the royal army, Claude and his forces go after the church. In their pursuit, they arrive at the Teltine Plains, where Seros and Nemesis battled long ago. It's not much further to Kingdom territory. Once we've crossed the border, we'll march through the Teltine Plains and make our way to Ferdiad. The plains of Teltine are the largest in all of Fargus. As I recall, they're also where a well-known battle took place long ago. We're going by land instead of sea this time, huh? I have to admit, I prefer it this way. We may have taken a wild little detour, but we're finally back to marching on the Kingdom Capital. Claude, are you sure it would not be prudent to ask the Imperial Army for assistance? They certainly owe us after that last battle. The Imperial Army is pursuing the Kingdom Army westwards. They're well on their way to Aryan Road. Most of the Kingdom's forces have gathered in the west as well. Rhea and her troops are the only ones who fled north. I don't get it. Sure, it makes sense for the Kingdom to reinforce their position on the Western Front. They're losing ground there, after all. But is the King of Fargus really abandoning the defense of his capital city and the church? I can't claim to know what his intentions are, but... I suspect Dimitri's decided to leave the rest to me. What's that supposed to mean? What in the world could the king of an enemy territory trust you with? I think I get it. Dimitri is counting on Claude. The central church is just a millstone around the kingdom's neck at this point. Dimitri's probably hoping Claude will cut him loose. Are you suggesting that the king wishes to avoid formally cutting ties with the central church and is therefore using us to bring about its demise? Hmm. I have heard that the central church aided the kingdom when civil war broke out. Perhaps Dimitri feels indebted to the archbishop and his knightly values demand he not oppose her directly. But that's... No, I suppose this is the nature of war. There is more to it than that. The kingdom and the church have a long history full of reasons why the king can't betray them. Long ago, the hero Lug von Blathib cut down the Adrestian emperor of his day. In fact, their battle took place on the Teltine Plains, which we're just about to cross. The Church mediated the conflict and recognized House Blathid's independence, leading to the founding of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. As you might have guessed, that's how they got the holy bit in their name. So essentially, abandoning the Church would mean turning their back on the very group to whom they owe their independence. And that's why Dimitri wants the fledgling Leicester Federation to do his dirty work and abolish the Church in his stead. And that's my guess, anyway. But his reasons are immaterial, since getting rid of the church is what we've been after all along. For the sake of our future and the free world to come, we'll tear down the central church and put an end to Rhea. You can count on it. And if they run off to Ferdiad, we'll just have to conquer the capital to get to them. Huh. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. It's time to fling open the doors to a whole new era. All forces, advance! I'm not gonna say taking down churches solves a whole lot of problems, but... Hmm. Hmm. I have a proposal. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Hmm. 
What if we do this instead? I've got this. One step at a time. I will save for a little later. Hey, what do you got to say, Arvo? You have nothing more to fear, Shay. No matter who or what you face, we will be able to save this world. Shall we? Now let us be off. We shall fight till the bitter end. Still here. Wait a minute. Interesting. Welcome. Nothing but the best for you. Get unlimited seals now. Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Nothing but the best for you. Come back soon. Well, hello you. Mm. We have some truly capable people. Mm. We have some truly capable. Mm. We have some truly capable people here. Come back soon, all right? in these areas. Only four units here first. Oh, yeah. 
My muscles will see me through. Go there. This land. No. I don't like the look of this, but I know we can go through. Side and help. I'm a little nervous about this. That won't let anyone take it back. Now it is my turn. There is nothing. I cannot do. None shall surpass me. Let's get started. I don't think I can handle this. After this, I didn't know we were in a time limit. Uh, I might have a problem. Including this one. What's going on? Debut. My turn. Mm -hmm. All 
All right. There's nothing these muscles can't. Yeah. Let's do this. Don't worry. I won't. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. <sighs> okay. Interesting. this. So these enemies got some beefy weapons. I guess. Lend me your strength. We'll win if we work together. Sure, I can get the side quest. All right, here I go. Oh. Oh, we did it. Usually, when I leave people on a little bow, they don't do anything on their own. Step closer to my goals. A noble always does his duty. Jessica. Hey, win to win. Your Majesty, I am glad to see that you are safe. I am fine, Gustav. My apologies for worrying you. What is your report on the situation in the West? For the moment, we are holding the line against the Empire's offensive. The news that Your Majesty has arrived at the Silver Maiden will do wonders for the soldiers' morale. Unfortunately, the same can be said for our enemy. The Emperor pursued me here, and should be joining her forces at the front. But no matter how high the enemy's morale, they will not find Aryan Road an easy prize to take. In that case, perhaps our concern should lie with Lady Rhea and the Knights of Seros. Ah, yes. The Kingdom Army parted with them to deal with the Imperial forces here in the West. I have heard nothing of their fate since. Were they able to reach Camulus safely? No, Your Majesty. They have stopped in the northern region of the Teen Plains to prepare for battle. They intend to meet the Federation army there? It is likely they determined that with the Kingdom army unable to leave the Western Front, they would not be able to withstand a siege at Camulus. They have assessed the situation correctly, then. The Kingdom Army cannot spare enough troops to break a siege at this moment. If Camulus is taken, Ferdiad itself may well fall to the forces of Leicester. To prepare for that contingency, I have ordered our citizens in the capital and the surrounding area to evacuate to Gautier territory. But does Claude truly wish to destroy Fargus? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Your Majesty, a message from Duke Faldarius. The Imperial Army seems to be taking more aggressive action. He would like you to brief the commanders on the current state of the war. Understood. I will be there shortly. But Your Majesty, what of the Central Church? Gustav, 
We'll do what must be done to safeguard our people, no matter how great the cost. We to bow down to the Empire and accept the Southern Church, Fargus would fall to ruin. A great many of our people would die. However, the Federation has shown us a way to avoid such a terrible fate. Then there is truly no other way? We are deeply indebted to the Central Church. It is a debt that I cannot repay. I will gladly accept whatever punishment I must. It means saving even one more of my people's lives. And as the King of Fargus, no sacrifice is too great. Forgive me, Gustav. Your Majesty, if this is the path you have chosen, then I will walk it with you until the very end. Cheap food. Never go wrong with that. My condolences, but thanks for the master seals. Time to waste. My time to shine. to be battling. Watch it. Let's get this operation underway, shall we? Let's move out. All right, take it down. The enemy stronghold will be ours. now don't falter just because things aren't going our way not unless you want to die Oh, 
Shall we take up position here? I'm gonna take her down. Wait for this. I was lacking caution. Like you got one tough fight on your hands. Can we be this simple? We cannot allow the battle to continue trending. We've got an emergency. Set back up. something. This is off. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Starting the mission now. My turn. I'm going to lose if this keeps up. Easy now. Somebody wants to die. Get cocky just because we won. Thank you. 
this. I'll take care of it. You can always use more resistance. I wish they would tell me that the battle's coming ahead of time. I feel bad refusing. Who, me? Stand ready. I'll show you what I can do. You've got this, everyone. I'll just watch. Aw, but I wanted to slack off. Yeah! You can count on me and my muscles! Switching off. No, we're the ones. So this is the beat. Oh, we can skip my I'm turn sorry. now. That was nothing. My turn at last. for ourselves. Over two minutes. A noble always does his duty.
let's get those supplies. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. This Do this one first. Time to bring down our quarry. I'm going to doze off. I just know it. Show you what I can do. I bring. Another day, another stage to conquer. Time to go. Whatever it takes. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's get this battle underway. Raise that flag up high. Forward march. to me leave this one to me off land of time that's my cue all right here i go there's nothing these muscles can't do good we've gained control
something these muscles can't do. About playing with fire. That was nothing. Retreat! <laughs> Defeat the purpose of all this. All would be lost if I were to die here. Leave this one to me. That's see, I'm not so bad. You'll have to take things from here. Let's carve a swath through the battlefield. Innocents! I do hope you'll make this fun for me. Mm, this is nice. Leave this to me. Leave this one. That's my cue. All right. Here up there's nothing. <laughs> now is the time to stand our ground. <laughs> to me. Got it. Whoa. What a pain. That one guy left. Leave this to me. I'm feeling that is from me.
hope this location proves useful. Battle does have its benefits. Way to go, Linhart! It's over there. Let me just slip past my nose. Good time to finish him off. Behold, a token effort! Hey, we won! Wish I could have got a few more hits in, though. Results a good result. I'm gonna go to the shimmy there. Hold on. I already put many former comrades back into the dirt. I'll probably kill far more in the coming battle. <laughs> I can almost hear her screaming about me about it. The good intentions, mine. Let's do this. I want to stop giving people reasons to yell at me. Let's make this the last time. This isn't a recon mission, then. That's fine. I'm up for anything. You know where I wanted to go. Like not in Shamir? This should be fun. This would make a good vantage point. Oh, sorry. Old sniper habit. I don't feel like we have to talk. I'm good with silence. <laughs> it's you. We almost won the battle between Dagda and the Empire. Then one man changed everything. I've spent seven years in Fodlan. Can't believe it's been that long. Hmm. Can't pretend to know what she wants. I enjoyed that more than I thought I would. Maybe hit me up again sometime. Let's do this. Sorry, it wasn't a perfect date. Have a dagger? Thanks. I appreciate it. I 
fight for my land of home. Who, me? for victory. Feel free to do my share of the fighting, too. Use this stronghold well. We can skip my turn, you know. We should take out that person. Just leave it to me. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, you, you have my support. Up. Get this operation underway, shall we? Very up. Starting the mission now. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, I won't slack off. The sky spear. I'm swapping it. Hey, we got an important position in trouble. All would be lost if I were to die here. I have finished with great success. Get this place out.
get it. Get this up, starting the mission now. Just leave time to wreck stuff. <laughs> All would be lost if I were to die here. All right, what's next? <laughs> It seems my time has come. Plane, don't make me do this to you. I can just give you some fish and be done with it. Why isn't Seth here? Another job well done. Time for some hard earned rest. This game is going to go on for a little longer than I thought. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Dance combat service. manuals and heroes insignias. 
Let's see if I can remember that. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Is this it? I'm with the question marks are for. Is this it? Counting on you. Well, well, This might be really interested in.
again. care much for battle. I've come this far. Why pack it in now? I must live through this. My turn? No matter what. I hope I can be of some use. You don't have to help Let's me go get there. This operation underway, shall we? Starting the mission now. Here, this one. I'll fight too. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. I got you. It's no use. We can't gain any ground. Let's carve a swath through the battlefield. Yeah, you guessed it. I need OVS to catch up with me first. Reward me by letting me sleep in tomorrow. This is quite fascinating. Move on now.
thing again. Why can't you just let me stay inside? I look forward to a worthy opponent. Oh, great. Here we go. This is my safe place, and I won't let it fall. We must do something. I'm all right. Don't panic. Just handle it. Now is our chance here. with me. Is this a I I'll fight too. <laughs> One step closer to victory. Not yet. <laughs> chance they cannot stop us it's Bernie's time to shine that is Bernie sure this goes okay somebody wants to die <laughs> Do it. Somebody wants to die. Please, excuse me. Is this okay? Mm. This up starting the mission. Now is our chance. They can. Are you sure? <laughs> How 
give it a try. We did it. All would be lost if I were to die here. Did I meet your expectations? Is this all right? Hold her right there. I think we might actually lose here. Hey, where is it? Please. Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. They can into the fray. Is that all we've got? <laughs> I really haven't seen you in a while, buddy. So long as I draw breath, none shall take anything from us. Seems like fighting's all I do these days. I'll put this to good use. This map is really patting itself out. What say you? How 
about it. Not sure. Because of what? Shepherd work, yeah. Send a flower to battle and watch it bloom. Let's move. Let's do this thing. We're moving. Follow me. I'll help you to the best of my ability. Meager though it may be. Retreat is a vital strategy. My turn? Oh, we can skip my turn, you know. Defeat here. Don't worry, I
it does. Even under level, Shamir is kicking ass. Maybe it's better this way. Only thorns left on this rose. That should come in handy. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Uh, pretty much hit time, so we're gonna end the stream after a little support break. <laughs> That's hilarious! Who knew there could be a merc like that? Yeah, he'd say it with a completely straight face, too. I take my pay in apples. This guy would storm onto the battlefield, lugging around a sack full of apples. <laughs> Truly one of the strangest things I've ever seen. Sounds fun. I guess you could say he was hungry for battle. <laughs> Wish I could have seen that myself. He was probably the best smelling guy out there. I'll give him that. That reminds me. Remember when you asked about my past? Yeah, sorry if that was out of line. I shouldn't have pried. No, it's okay. Actually, I thought I would tell you, if you're still interested. Are you sure? I'm sure. It's not much of a story anyway. Besides, it's already been seven years. I used to belong to an organization that was less a group and more like one giant mercenary state. Not the kind of place you go for building bonds of trust and camaraderie. Still, there was one person there who I thought of as a partner. <sighs> as you can probably guess, he was killed. And that was that. Yeah, that's how these stories always end. I know it was a long time ago, but I'm really sorry. But why'd you want to tell me all of a sudden? I thought you hated talking about your past. I felt a little guilty. You shared your story with me earlier, but I didn't tell you mine. At the time, I wasn't about to go telling some stranger all about my past. But now I think you're at least somewhat trustworthy. So I told you. That's all. Seriously? Wow. I'm really happy to hear that. Especially from you. Why? Everyone here adores you. I'm sure you hear stuff like that all the time. All the time? Come on, that's an exaggeration. I've always felt that you were a more distinguished mercenary than me. Earning recognition from a merc I respect is a real honor. So if you see me as some sort of senior mercenary, I guess that makes me the mentor in this relationship. Uh, I guess. I see. All this time I've been treating you like an equal, but maybe I should have been taking you under my wing instead. You teach me how to shoot a bow. How would you feel if I took you up on that? Seems like fun. Yeah, well, you know what else is fun? Any person I mentor has to pay for drinks. All of them. No way! What kind of deal is that? <laughs> Just a joke, sorry. I have no intention of treating you any different. 
I should have known. That's why I like you, Shamir. Hmm. I will need to settle this matter post haste. Hey, Lawrence. What's wrong? If that frown was any lower, it'd be falling off your face. Hmm? Ah, hello, Hilda. Have you been sleeping enough? Your body can't survive off grumbling and worry, you know. I appreciate the concern, but I'm afraid I have no choice in the matter. As you're already aware, I have inherited the title of Count Gloucester from my father. As such, I must find a suitable partner to be my wife. It is an issue of utmost urgency. Is it? Yeah, that does sound like a lot. Is that why you look so crabby? I don't know, though. I don't think you need to worry. I'm sure you'll find the right person in no time. If only I had your confidence. The conditions for marrying into the distinguished House Gloucester are quite strict indeed. My partner must not only be willing to live alongside me as a proud noble, but share in the responsibilities that house leadership entails. I hope I can find such an ideal woman. Uh, but how is the situation in House Goneril? My house? Your father recently passed leadership of House Goneril along to your brother Holst, did he not? I was simply wondering what course of action you were planning to take in the matter. Well, I don't know. I mean, the stuff my brother's up to doesn't really have much to do with me. Hmm, if I had to pick, maybe I'd go traveling? I've always wanted to see the world. I'll go all over the place, taking in the sights, eating the best food Fogland has to offer. Obviously not till the war's over and everything's cooled off, though. Traveling, hmm? Quite an unexpected answer. What's that tone, Lawrence? Though I must say, earning permission from your father or host will be no easy feat. Grand adventures such as those are fraught with danger at every turn. I can only imagine the perils you might face with disease or scornful local lords. If you'd like my opinion, I believe settling down and pursuing a life of leisure much better suits your carefree personality. Maybe, but there's a time and place for everything, you know? I can travel first, then spend my days relaxing later. And besides, Holst and my dad both spoil me rotten, so I don't think convincing them's going to be too big a deal. Oh, but I probably shouldn't go anywhere that gets too hot or too cold. Extremes aren't really my thing. In that case, I know the prime location. There is a wonderful little place within Leicester borders, with boundless forests and crystal blue rivers and the most exquisitely comfortable climate. It's also rather close to Goneril territory, so your family will be able to rest at ease. Let me guess. Is it Gloucester? <laughs> You're quick to catch on. It is one and the same, Hilda. <laughs> Thought so. I guess I wouldn't mind adding it to the itinerary. See how they left that little open-ended? Respect. Marianne? Ah! Marianne! There you are. I thought you'd be in the chapel. I, um... I went to pray earlier than usual today. You're really committed to this whole praying every single day thing, aren't you? Oh, no. It's nothing so grand. And besides... Praying to the goddess daily on behalf of my friends is really all I'm good for. Okay, stop. Seriously? 
You're amazing, Marianne. There's a ton of stuff you do that no one else could possibly handle. I suppose so. Yeah? Well, I know so. Um, Hilda? Why are you always so nice to me? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have so many other close friends. Yet you always seem to go out of your way to show me kindness and decency. You even took responsibility when Judith was about to berate me during our armor sorting escapade. That takes me back. Poor Judith. Rest in peace, Judith. Hers was a great loss indeed. Anyway, did I really cover for you back then? I honestly don't even remember. Yes, and I have wondered ever since why you did such a thing. Eh, it's no big deal. I guess I just wanted to be nice. Seriously, Marianne, you're the best, and having you around makes my life a lot easier. So, just consider it my way of saying thanks for all the times you helped me out. I've helped you? Absolutely! You're my emotional support! You're always around when I need a shoulder to cry on or somebody to listen when I get all mad. You always know the exact right thing to say, and then you smile at the end of it and it's like, I don't know, it makes me all warm inside. You do all that little stuff without even thinking of it, and it really keeps me going. I never thought of it like that. I had no idea you found me helpful. If anything, I thought you considered me a burden. Thank you, Hilda. Your words, they... they mean a lot to me. And I will do my best to support you in all the days yet to come. There's that smile. You never fail to brighten my day, Marianne. Hmm. Yeah, something's still not quite right here. Maybe the chest decoration is a little... lonely? There's no way this accessory is good enough to sell in its current state. We talking business? Something wrong, Hildy? Hey, Dorothea. Yeah, I'm actually trying to make a necklace, but it's not going well. I just can't shake that feeling. It's... I don't know. Missing a little something, I guess. Anyway, I was just mulling over what I should do about it. Oh, so this is one of your handmade accessories. I've wanted to see one for so long. Might I offer an opinion? Oh, absolutely! Give me the brutal truth. I can handle it. This is fine workmanship. Much more elaborate than the goods you can buy off a common tinker. Ah, oh, the chain is patterned after a vine. Yes, I see. Forgive an amateurish opinion, but what if you were to add some leaves under this floral decoration? If there were a pattern that bridged the flower and the vines, that might lend it the special something you feel like you're missing. You know what? That just might do it. Yeah! I think you're really onto something there, Dorothea. Thanks a million! I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. Oh, but now I'm going to come to you whenever I'm in a pickle about how to fix an accessory, you know? I would be delighted. Say, do you have any interest in actually selling the items you make? Huh? Wait, you think I could sell them? As I said earlier, you rarely see goods of this quality. They could, for example, be used by an opera troupe. Like the Middle Franc Opera Company? Exactly. 
Stage costumes use all manner of accessories and ornamentations, you know. And once they're seen in such a setting, nobles from near and far will be clamoring to buy them. Dorothea, I love you. I'm so happy I could scream! Actually, maybe we could keep the spirit of our newfound cooperation going. See, someday, I actually want to open a school for craftspeople who make accessories like mine. And since you used to work at the opera company, maybe you could help me with the whole businessy side of things. I mean, opera people are pretty good with accessories and stuff, right? So, what do you think? <sighs> That's wonderful, Hildy. What ideas you think of? There are a few jobs retired opera members can get, which was always a source of worry for the company. So let's definitely return to this conversation in the near future, all right? Oh, I am so glad I met you, Dorothea. There's two girl bosses working that hustle. Love to see it. And last but not least... Wow, your painting is brilliant, Marianne! Oh, it's not anything special. Sure it is! I mean, especially since this is basically your first time. You're a natural! But me? I was born with a chronic lack of painting skill. And that's not true at all. I think your work is gorgeous. The sky and earth seem to leap off the canvas. Oh, um, you really think so? And what's more, I couldn't help but notice your ability on the horses we rode here. You overflow with talent, Bernadetta. Never doubt it. Horse thing is just because I'm a noble. They made me practice all the time when I was young. Though, yeah, I've done a lot of riding both on and off the battlefield lately. You've really inspired me to be better. I would expect nothing less than such an effort from you, Bernadetta. Say, Marianne, what do you want to do when this war is over? Hmm. Well, if it were allowed... I'd love to go to a forest where sunlight filters through the leaves, and read a book while surrounded by small animals. Ah, that's the dream. Uh, surrounded by animals? Uh, I mean, that's a lovely dream! You said small animals, Bernadetta. Um, what do you want to do, Bernadetta? I'll tell you, but it has to stay between us, okay? I'm... um... writing a story. And I'd like to finish it. Uh, Marian can read it. You are so very full of talent. I have such respect for you. Oh, it's not so much. But hey, I just thought of a new story. Okay, so it's about a girl in a remote forest, talks to animals, and makes friends with them. Wait, isn't that... Um, yes. I totally plagiarized your life. I just thought it would be fun to turn your dream into a story. It is a book I would very much like to read. Please do let me see it if you ever finish. <laughs> oh, okay, Bernie. Press your song now. I look forward to it. In that case, maybe you could actually teach me about the forest animals? You know so much, Marianne. Honestly, I'd love to just sit and talk about whatever with you. That sounds wonderful. Then it's a promise. We'll talk each other's ears off. It is a promise indeed. Yes, women supporting women. All for it. And now we've reached the end of our stream today. Thanks for everyone who stopped by to watch. Appreciate you.
We'll do this again next time. See you then.